Alrighty, well, okie dokie. Ah, uh, well, welcome once again to my pseudo cast, everybody. Um, and this time around, this is gonna be uh, Noel. Oh, and I, I actually heard some of this um, like earlier today. It sounded pretty cool, and uh, the, the, and the, the the thumbnail, the thumbnail here really trips me out because uh, it looks almost exactly like a Dungeons and Dragons uh, uh, dungeon module, like the like the cover. And yeah, it even says so here, Dungeons and Dragons inspired Dungeon Synth 2018, which is kind of a surprise. So Yeah, and now that now that I know now that I see it, yeah. Down at the bottom, Music for Strange Magic Module. They're they're going for the uh dungeon module look with this one. Yeah, you can tell even right down to the font and everything. And hey, how about that? Track one, old school dungeon crawling. So yeah, it looks like I found a winner here. I'm gonna have to turn it down. <clears throat> okay, but um, otherwise, um, didn't didn't really do a whole lot. Um, one thing I one thing I did end up doing is um, I uh, I had to create a brand new account on a website that I used to. I used to go on fairly often called pinside.com. It's a it's a pinball website, but um, as I couldn't remember what my username was, um, I had my password saved, but uh, I couldn't remember my username, so I was basically forced to create a brand spanking new account. And so I've been I spent a, probably a good chunk of the night just trying to get um try to try to get all trying to rate all the pinball tables and stuff like that mainly all the ones that are on pinball arcade uh, bas basically what I was what I'm what I'm working on or what I've been working on is trying to create a pinball tier list in a, of sorts so but that was but uh that was actually um that but back back some odd years ago when I first went on pin side um like um, my my all-time favorite table, all-time favorite pinball table is always gonna be TX Sector. Um, and uh, my other my other table, my other table that's it it's not it it's not a number two spot, but it, it's always remained in my top five Central Park. But these two tables, I mean, these are always gonna be up on up on the top. But the other three and all the the other the other three of my top five. And all the rest of them were inspired by my um, my results. Um, again, after um, after rating a whole bunch of tables, thus adding them to my uh, sort of kind of database. Um, you can also there's also a kind of a, a a preferences page. Like you can you can um you can rate um how high a priority is say. Say uh, back glass artwork. You can um, you can uh, give it kind of a weight rating, like how high do you weight, like how high do you rate sound effects, you know that kind of thing. So what you have to do on pin side is uh, you got to enter in, you know, you got to rate, you have to rate all as many tables as you can remember, as many tables that you've played. Once you rated all of them, then you go to your then you go to your preferences, and then you um, again you adjust your priorities. You know how, how you know, how high would you you know how high would you rate? You know, like so again, backlash artwork. How high would you rate that? Uh, how high would you rate the game's lighting? You know that kind of thing. So after you've uh, after you've adjusted all these sliders for all these attributes, and then after you've uh, rated all the tables that you're gonna rate. Then it'll um, it'll automatically it'll automatically uh, arrange your your top 100 or whatever top 100 tables. So that's that's what I've been working on most of the night. Which I mean, I mean on one on one end it really sucks that I have to start all over. But then again, um, I haven't been on pit side in some odd years too. I, or I haven't been on there at least a year. So it was kind of good going back into it. And just kind of reevaluating me, and you know, reevaluate, reevaluating the 
the standards I go by or my pinball standards, I guess you can call it. So, so, so it's kind of good to go back. And all, and also all this while uh, while also firing up an old classic, Cookie Clicker. Um, one of the earliest idle games, and for those that don't know, yes, uh, one of my favorite video game genres is idle games. So, but uh, straight, but um, but with idle games, you can, for the most part, you know, you can, you know, you gotta do some work on it, you know, to get the idle game up and running, you know, get it to where it's sailing under its own power, and then you can just, you can save your work and then just clo and then close the window. So, it, idle games are kind of their own animal, but I still like idle games more than I do fighting games, though. So, I mean, yeah, fighting games is a video is a video game genre that I'm currently playing, but mainly because, uh, for reasons of catching up, I haven't consistently played a fighting game in, like, almost 30 years. So, so, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of long overdue, but, but otherwise, um, but otherwise, uh, again, pinball is my uh, second favorite uh, genre of video game. Technically, it's not a video game, but to me, close enough. Number one, or actually, uh, number one's actually a tie for first between MMOs and RPGs. So, MMO RPGs, best of both worlds, you know, Guild Wars 2, World of Warcraft, etc. But these days, I'm very burnt out on MMO RPGs after having played them for for probably close to 15 years straight so it's time for a change of scenery so but anyway um i got back into cookie clicker because um they actually had a on my youtube recommendations they actually have a video called cookie clicker explained i'm like really i like, said so it's it's, it's kind of up there with um with paint drying videos or Watching the grass grow videos. Like, really? They actually have those kind of videos? So. So, yeah, after seeing that, after seeing that video. Oh, 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 let me stop, let me stop. I am currently having a V8 energy drink, orange pineapple flavored. Let me check the volume. Okay, I'm just gonna say close enough on that. But yeah, um, but yeah, fired up, fired up some cookie clicker. Um, had that running for about an hour or two, and then uh, probably shortly before I got the pseudo cast set up, uh, just saved my work and shut it down. So, but yeah, it was it was probably the very first idle game I played, cookie clicker. So. That's the one that, that's the one that, uh, broke, that's the one that popped my cherry. That, yep, popped my idle game cherry. So, after that, uh, I've been into idle games ever since. In fact, uh, I think I have one going right now. Yeah, I got one going right now. Um, I've actually, I've actually had this, I've actually played this in, uh, one of my earlier pseudo casts. Um, like... Incremental Epic Hero or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but yeah, I'm it's running right now. So. so let me see. But yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, that once again, I've been um, I've been spending a lot of the night. Or, or excuse me. I'm really tongue tied right now. I don't know why. It's like my mind and my mouth aren't cooperating with each other. But anyway, um, just. Spent a good chunk of the night just trying to build my um uh, my pinball database on Pinside, and then once I've um uh, once I've got once I've added as many pinball tables as possible to this database, and then I'll go ahead and get like a it'll be like a kind of a top 100 tables. Even though the only ones that I really care about is the top five. So, because typically the top five are firm. They're gonna be they're gonna be a lot more firmer because you know these are my definite definite favorites. All the, from uh, position six on down. Oftentimes they can be this big, big, big old king of the hill battle. You know it's you know or another way of looking at it, king of the mountain. You know there you know there can be only one. You know 
you know, and then like maybe like the number number two and number three spots, you know, they might, you know, they might do a little bit of competition, you know, one moves up, one moves down, etc. Then like positions three, four, and five, you know, those might do do some fighting amongst themselves, you know, for the number three spot, that kind of thing, you know. But then like number six, all the way down, you know, you know then you might have like positions six through ten. You know, there might be like a four-way battle there, but you kind of get the idea, though. I don't, but uh, my uh, my top five, my top five is gonna be a lot firmer than say the uh, position of six on down. So, whereas uh, a lot of other people's, I hear when I when I when I see like top ten lists, a lot of a lot of people will will give a top ten, but then they'll say. This list is subject to change without notice. Oh, these top ten here, they're like my current favorite, but they could change at any moment. Not me. Not me. I mean, the, the top five, my top five of whatever is going to be firm. It's going to be in a lot, it's going to be a lot firmer, a lot, a lot tougher, and a lot more stubborn than position six on down. It's just going to be, you know, or again, let me, let me reiterate, you know, then positions... 6 through 10, you know, there might be, you know, there's going to be some infighting there. Um, or, let, let, once again, let me rephrase this further. Positions, you know, oh, how did I do it? No, number one is all, my number one is always going to be my number one. Um, numbers two and three, there might be a little bit of fighting back and forth, but very seldom. Uh, four and five, same thing. There's gonna be a little bit of fighting there, but not very often. And, but it basic, it, it's it, it basically. Um, I'm not with. In my mind, it's not king of the hill. It's king of the mountain. That top spot is always gonna be at the top spot. Then, as the mountain gets wider and wider and wider as it goes down and down and down, you know, a lot, you know, it's gonna get a lot wider, a lot bigger towards the bottom of that mountain. So there's going to be a lot more maneuvering around towards the bottom. So, I mean, sorry if that doesn't make any sense, but well, and this is all well, and this is one of the reasons why I like doing these pseudo casts, because um, I've said this before in other in earlier ones too. Um, all I have to go by is just notepad. All I do on there is I just jot down some notes, some things I want to cover for my for my next cast, but otherwise everything else is ad-libbed it's everything else is improvised so it, but that that is one of the reasons why i like doing these casts because it's it kind of helps me to just talk it out you know because in my real life and um to a lesser extent when streaming um i don't really talk to anybody else i hardly talk to my co-workers i hardly talk to my uh anybody in my family um and even when streaming Pretty much these days, the only people that come on are my regulars, guys that have known me for a very long time. Um, but they're pretty much um, for the for the the only time I really talk when streaming is when they're on, or I should say the only time when I I have any uh, long-lasting meaningful conversation is when they're on. Um, otherwise, the rest of the time I'm just basically talking out loud to myself. Um, so, but yeah, like I said. But going back to what I was originally saying, probably I mean, one of the reasons why I do these casts is it just it allows me to get it out. It allows me to talk it out. So, something I can't do as much when streaming because part of my time is spent actually playing games. So it's harder for me to be in two places at once. And it just kind of hit me. The old part of this name, it's actually a, it's actually a flail. Well, that's kind of a neat quirk. Oh and um oh and another thing, um, this is kind of an impromptu thing. I just I watch I just watched this video, um, a few minutes before I, before I had to start getting my my cast set up. Is um, there's a, a former jewel thief named Larry Lawton, like he's been in um, he's, you know he's been a jewel thief and he's been in prisons, for like ten years, ten fifteen years or something like that. He had a he did a video of uh, himself playing Grand Theft Auto V. I thought that was cool as hell. And, excuse me. 
And I might actually end up doing commentary on that video, too. I mean, it's... Oh, excuse me. But it's, all, it's always awesome watching old people playing video games. Um, and, um, one other YouTube channel that, um, that, uh, um, that was shown to me by, uh, by one of my viewers called Angry Grandpa. Same thing. There was a video of him, uh, playing Grand Theft Auto V, but I think he got a little too addicted. I think he's got an addictive personality. But once he picked up the controller, he couldn't put it down. But, I mean, again, it's always great watching old people playing video games. You know, it is something I wish I, I something I wish I saw when I was a little kid. I mean, my dad hated video games. Um, there's been times he'd he'd come home from work and I'd be on my on my Super Nintendo or Atari 2600 or whatever, and he'd be some son I've got. He's gonna spend the rest of his goddamn life playing video games. So, and um, but but I mean, you know, and throughout my upbringing, most old people were like that. Like the ones who were in Vietnam War, you know, at their their battle, you know, their video games are a waste of time, type people. So, so yeah, again, it's it's always awesome seeing old people playing video games these days. Oh, and and, and not just not this not just the shit they show on Facebook or just the shit that you can play on mobile, like you know, playing actual console games like. Like the like Larry Lawton was doing, playing Grand Theft Auto V. Like what Angry Grandpa was doing, playing oh also playing Grand Theft Auto V. But again, I think he got a I think he got a little too hooked on it. So, but to be fair, I was like that too when I was a kid. Even I mean, mine was I mean, mine was so bad that uh I was uh I was actually pestering my friends or pestering my neighbors, anybody that had a video game console. I'd be a knocking on the door. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, can I play your Sega Genesis or can I play your Intellivision or whatever? So, and imagine I wore out my welcome with those people. <sighs> okay, so. Um, so it looks like I'm a little bit past my cutoff here. So, um, I'll just go ahead and uh, call it good. And I, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say, so. Uh, but. But, yeah, otherwise, well, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, or tomorrow morning. So, but until then. Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Take care.